Video nasties, the Home Secretary says he won't change the law to ban them altogether. The Home Secretary, Michael Howard, has said he will look closely at a report which says there is a link between violent videos and crime. But he said it would be an extreme step to ban the videos simply on the grounds that they were unsuitable for youngsters. More than 200 MPs say he should. It looks as if films like these will stay on shop shelves, despite the claims by child psychologists that youngsters can act violently after watching so-called video nasties. Today, the Home Secretary suggested he would not be accepting an amendment to the Criminal Justice Bill up for debate in mid-April, which would take the videos out of circulation. He stressed the role of parents instead. Well, parents do have a responsibility. There are some videos which uh, are suitable for viewing by adults, not suitable for viewing by children. And it's difficult, it would be an extreme step to ban all videos that might be perfectly okay for adults to watch. Films without certificates, or ones that are only allowed to be shown in cinemas, have been seized on video by police and trading standards officers. But there's resistance to extending their powers from those who say the psychologist's report proves nothing. We do not accept that there is a conclusive argument that the problems in our society uh, can be uh, simply cured uh, by preventing the majority of households in the United Kingdom from being able to see 15 and 18 classified programmes. MPs demanding a change in the law have had their resolve to get it strengthened. Many are conservative. In their way is the fine print. How do you write legislation that stops certain violent videos reaching the shops while leaving others, including Oscar winners, unaffected? Jeremy Vine, BBC News.